All right, for those of you that are trying to um, sync your BitConnect wallet, uh, your QT wallet, um, this is how you go about doing it. So if yours is not synced, it up here to say uh, not synced. I think it says it down here somewhere too. And if you look down here over this area right here, um, you'll see you won't have uh, any active connection like how mine looks with this like green check mark. So what you would do uh, in this case is you just go ahead and uh, open up a new browser, type in BitConnect nodes and which one you're looking for is that Nova Exchange one click on that and then what you want to do is you want to copy all of the the little ones there's a lot of them see these, these longer ones you don't want to copy so you just want to stop right there right here just go ahead and copy those click out of there come over here to your desktop create a new text document just rename it bit connect and then you want to paste all of those in there keep them in there then what you want to do is you want to go to your start menu and you want to uh, type in percentage app data percentage again that'll bring up your roaming file from your roaming file what you want to do is you want to go to your bit connect then what you want to do is you want to take and drag the bit connect file the one that you just created over into here I'm not going to do it because I've already done it uh, once that's done um, it will show up then what you want to do is you want to open it up uh, you want to hit save once you open it up you want to hit save then you want to actually let me just do it uh, like that and you want to open it back up hit file you want to save that all right, hold on. You want to hit save as. And then what you want to do is you want to change this to all files. And then you want to change the name of it to. Basically, you just want to put dot. C O N F on it and hit save. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Hit save. Um, and then it'll show up like that. Let me erase this one. Because, like I said, I already have it. So it'll show up like this at that point in time. Let me double check. Uh. I believe that's it. Let me see. Yeah. So you can just exit out of everything at that point in time. And then what you want to do is uh, you go ahead and exit out of this. And boom. Then you, then you should be able to go back to it. Run. Got to wait a little bit. My computer's slow. All right. Yeah. And what will happen is, is I don't, a lot of people haven't said this, but what will happen is that it is still show up as not synced but after a while like you should start seeing down here in the right hand corner that you have an active connection um, and then maybe like for mine it took like at least 30 minutes before 
uh, you, you'll start to see green, like a green loading thing down here. And you'll start seeing uh, seeing the blockchain load down here. Like I said, it took like 30 minutes for mine to even start loading. And then once it started loading, it took literally, it took me about a day and a half for all of it to load all the way up. So you're just going to have to be patient with it. Um, but once you start seeing these, this active connection right here, uh, you know you're on the right track. And that, like I said, that can take a little while to start showing up. So don't don't panic. Just once you've done all those steps, it should start working. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them uh, in the comments, and I'll uh, do my best I can to help you. All right, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah.